Spotted at my fucking marathon in Rome. I can't. <laughs> Dude. This marathon was to qualify for Boston and it started out really really well I was on pace for probably the first at least half marathon maybe a couple seconds behind um, pace so I need an eight minute pace I think it goes like an 802 or 803 <laughs> Yes. Cool. Uh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Here, can I give you a trash? Yes. Thank you. Got it? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Gonna meet That's you in done. ten. Okay. Hey. Okay. All right. See ya. Thank you. Good luck. I did like maybe like three or four gels every hour, but I'm not really the smartest sometimes. And before I left, I did not reorder myself the gels that work really well for me. So I had a couple gels left over that Aaron's mom had given me, thank God. So I had enough until like eight miles out and then I just started eating the free bananas and it seemed to work pretty good. Look who's alive! Wow! Look at her! <laughs> I keep crying. <laughs> I ended up running a 337 marathon, so I need a 330 to qualify for Boston. So I was so close. I ran an 807 pace instead of an 801 pace. I'm getting better and better each time I run a marathon. So I'm very proud of myself. And I think that my next marathon I run, I'm gonna set a goal for around 315 or 320. I'd love to qualify for 2024 Boston. So that's the main goal. And I am just, I was very excited. I started crying at the end and was very proud of myself. For the rest of this time, I think we're gonna spend a few more days here in Rome and then hoping to visit the Vatican. That's how we're getting around Rome, my scooter. <laughs> so for the first two nights here in Rome, we stayed like right near the Vatican and we were planning on going but didn't end up getting a chance to. We were just really busy and I had to teach a few days. But then we moved closer to the Colosseum because for the Rome Marathon, that's where the start line is. It's right next to the Colosseum in the finish line. So we stayed there for the past two nights and now we're kind of going to the outskirts of Rome. We found a hotel for like 40 or $50 and just gonna work for a few days and then hopefully go to the Vatican before we leave. I do really like Rome and I feel like I would enjoy staying here longer, but it is wicked expensive, probably considering it's wicked touristy, but also it is kind of the off season. It's still March, so I'm surprised it's this expensive. The food is very expensive, the transportation rather expensive. So we're just gonna try and stay in our hotel for the next few days and make some food and probably just walk around, but not eat out so much because we've spent a lot of money eating out. But Rome is beautiful. Like, look, you just walk down a street and it's just that pretty everywhere. Uh, 
other crazy things about Rome. You're just walking around on some random small street and then come across a sign that says it's literally a protected archeological area that they are currently excavating or excavating and finding like old Roman ruins. It's just crazy. So here you can see them all like laid out in the grass and like all the digging and everything. It's pretty incredible. So Rome is very cool. Look at all of that. Also, the reason I'm up this early is because my legs just would not stop cramping. I couldn't sleep. I only slept for like three hours last night and my stomach is like screaming at me to eat something. So I've been gone away from home for about a month now, actually over a month. It's been like maybe like six weeks, seven weeks, and I've been enjoying it a lot. Like I am very grateful. I'm just really worried about money. So I feel like I, that's one thing that I've always been like very insecure about. So to try and like do this and trust myself that I'll eventually have the money come back to me is a difficult thing. But I just wanted to share because I have saved up for pretty much my whole life. Like I never was a big spender or anything. So to be able to finally be able to do this is something that I'm very proud of myself for, even though it's really scary. But owning Truvy and then having my house as passive income makes me feel a lot better. So very grateful that I have the opportunity to do this. And I'm also really proud of myself for setting myself up to be able to do this. And hopefully I can continue to just work on my business and grow it in my own way. And it makes me very excited for the future, but also very scared. But that's okay, and that's the point of life, for sure. At least for me. I feel the best about myself when I'm uncomfortable, and then I get through it, and then I'm uncomfortable, and then I get through it. So to do it now is something that I'm really excited about. I'm 24 years old, and if I'm gonna do it at any point in my life, it's probably now before I have a family or a lot of large responsibilities. and. The house is definitely a large one, but I think I have that set up in a place that is easy to maintain. So, feeling very lucky. Just wanted to share. Ugh. <laughs> 